So, much like the seven basic plots then, it turns out there are only seven basic sumo techniques. Just as with the throws yesterday, let's try to expand our sumo vocab. The technique you're most likely to know is yorikiri, oft translated into English as frontal force out. The Japanese though is more literal, comprising the words yoru, come closer to or lean on, and kiru, fully, completely, to the end. It thus very simply describes the act of leaning on your foe fully until he's completely out of the ring, with or without a belt grip. Bend your knees, stay low, and keep legs fairly wide apart to avoid a counter throw. Now, the suffix kiru is something you'll hear a lot in sumo interviews. A wrestler might, for example, use the general yarikiru to talk of something he must do fully, or torikiru to express imposing his sumo style completely. Should the force out end with you landing on top of your foe, that becomes yoritaoshi. Literally, lean and knock down. A loose English translation might read crush out. Taosu can also simply mean to beat, sometimes demolish, and is often used when describing sumo upsets. Is common parlance these days. As we learned yesterday, the word dasu or dashi describes the act of putting someone out of the ring. Osu or oshi is the word for push, therefore, oshi dashi is a push out. Drive with your legs and push upwards from a low position until your arms extend. Should your foe fall over while that happens, the word tawosu returns and the technique becomes oshitawoshi. Now, you may be thinking, why make a distinction between kiri and dashi? Why can't we say yori dashi and oshikiri? Well, until the 1950s, you could. There were such sumo techniques. And I'm led to believe that yorikiri and oshikiri were used when the opponent strongly resisted, and yoridashi and oshidashi when he simply flew out. Nowadays, yoridashi and oshikiri have dropped out of the technical manual. However, the word oshikiru is used by the likes of Takakesho to describe pushing one's foe back completely. Having fun? The next two basic techniques are tsukidashi and tsukitaoshi. Whereas oshidashi refers to pushing, tsukidashi refers to thrusting, winning your match with short, jabbing contact rather than a prolonged push. This winning move likely results from a tsupari, or thrusting attack, written with the characters tsuku, thrust, and haru, slap. The same haru as in harite, face slap or literally slapping hand, and harizashi, the face slap and inside arm adored by hakuho. The final basic technique, listed as such due to similarities with yoritaoshi, is abisetaoshi. The Japanese abiseru means to pour or throw something on something else. And here you literally throw yourself on top of a backward bending foe to crush him onto his back. The difference with yoritaoshi is that you make a conscious effort to put all your weight on top of him, and not without risk. And for those of you who've made it to the end, a bonus. Yesterday, I thought I had no footage of the rare Nicho Nage throw, but it turns out I do. This is the one where you sweep both your foe's legs from under him by tripping with the heel or the inner knee from the front. Here it is then, the spectacular Nicho Nage.